won last week, man, and this thing was on point tonight, leading there at the end of the race, and got a bumper took to you there on the last lap. Yeah, that, that green, when the caution come out, I know there's going to be a problem there, because, you know, Bert got right on my bumper, and he, he nudged me every time he get to me there, and uh, I knew he was coming. I didn't figure he'd be on the last lap, last corner. It's a good thing it was, because he would have never finished the race if, uh, if he'd have done that to me earlier. So. Yeah, y'all have y'all had feuds in the past. Is it, is it yeah, pretty much on again now? It, it's just getting started now. Now, he's leading the points, but when he, when he leaves here, he won't be leaving them next week. Bert Myers, big win here tonight. Had the crazy thing when we was drawing numbers, everything had to start out back. Like you had the fastest car there at the end, and um, then you, you and Junior had a little contact there at the end. It got a little live. Tell me about that. Um, Junior was holding us up pretty bad, and at the time, I was content with second. I mean, I started 22nd and, and made my way to, to second. Um, Points-wise, it was going to be a great night. I mean, I wanted to win the race, but I was trying to, to time it to where I could push Junior out. But his bumper was turned up on the left rear corner. We went in the last lap, and he slowed down enough to try to block me that it just lifted him up in the air, and he spun out. Yeah, and then after that, you know, well, I mean, you've done played this game with him before, you know, and we've seen it before, you know. Did you, you figured that was going to happen there afterwards? Yeah, I mean, I just, I don't know what, I don't know what Junior expects. When his bumpers turned up in the air and he just tried to park to block, and I understand that. I understand trying to, you know, to, to hold your position for that last corner of the last lap. But you know, when you when you just stop on a man and your bumpers kicked up, and I raised him up and he got in the gas and spun out. I mean, if you're watching a replay, I didn't hit him that hard. Yeah. But when he stopped, it just lifted him up in the air. But I don't know what. Uh, I don't know what else. Yeah. We, we've been, you know, and we've been doing this for years. You know, I talked to him earlier. I don't have to tell you what he said because I'm sure you already know. You know, so what, what are you going into the weeks coming up? What, I mean, how are you going to play it different? I'm, I'm not. We'll come over here and try to win races and deal with it one week at a time. I mean, I've raced for Junior Miller my whole career. And ain't nothing going to change next weekend. Tim Brown, I usually do the top three. I have no idea where you finish. I'm not even sure. Anybody knows where you finished at, but up in the top three all night. You know, you and Bert had a heck of a battle there. And then, what was going down there at the end of the race? Uh, Bert just knocked Junior around there, and I drove into his door. I want Tim Brown sign my flag. We, uh, <laughs> the, I don't know the baddest dude in the world. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know anyway, where I'm getting hijacked by Derek Stoltz here in the video. But um, I mean, yeah, you had a good car. You and Bert had a good battle there, and he was on outside. Would you just let, did you just let him go because he's burning his tires up on it? No, I didn't let him go. The, uh, the pace was kind of slow there. And just the outside was a quicker line, so that was the best way to go. So, team. <laughs> Derek Stoltz uh, had all the DQ last week, biggest race of the season. You said he's going to show them something, and it looked as dominant tonight as it did last week. Yeah, it was. It was great. Uh, yeah. Tonight it rained. We'll be the only winner beside the sportsman section of the Where Phone Gray website, so you can look at that. There won't be a second race. Uh, and I hope it rubs in their daggone face. Not the stadium, the rest of them up here. It goes behind your back every week. Whines and complains because you're a cheater. Other than that, we got truck and trailer. I'm going to go home and have a few cold beers and have a good time. Well, yeah, and yeah, yeah. You, you put a different carburetor on this this week, didn't you? Yeah, it's better. I told them it'd be better. The next carburetor I put on would be better than the other one. It was junk. The other one was junk. This one's better. Yeah, you, they you liked know. it. They take me and liked it, too. So we got it on there. Yeah, I mean, we had an interview this week. You said, you know, you work on your. Is that is that what it is? You just work on this thing. It gets worked on Sunday to Sunday, or Saturday to Saturday, however you want to look at it. And when we get here, the adjustments are not. You can make the adjustments here to fix the car. These other guys, not all of them, but there's some of them. Over the ones that's pitching, they're the ones that's paying somebody to work on their car through the week, and they come over here and don't know what to do but drink beer. Yeah, we don't do that. Well, and it's not looking like that, you know, the carburetor means power. Power down the straightaway. This thing through the corner, you're not even giving it gas till the till the off, way off exit. That's what it's all about. That's exactly what it's all about. It's all about turning through that corner right there. If you can make four corners, you can make two straightaways. So, until they figure that out, then that's, that's their issue. You know, I've heard enough protesting and cheating and all this crap again tonight. If the big boys has got money, they need to come see me.